And we're back live inside Studio 10 talking about, listen closely, Tivots. Tivots is a math and strategy game for kids. It's popular online and a board game. And basically, it's a powerful classroom and after school learning tool that teaches strategy and motivates kids to want to learn their math skills. That's important. Joining us today is game creator Siobhan Mullen, along with Bob Canigliero and Janet Bauman. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. So, the, the, uh, first off, Tivots, does the, what does that name mean exactly, or where did the name come from? Tippets is actually a made-up name. It is. Makes it very easy to trademark okay. and brand. So tell us about the game, how it works. There's a board version, there's an online version. And, and, I, and again, I'm sure you hear a lot of adults say this, why didn't we have this 30 years ago when I was in school? That would have been great. That would have been Instead of all those worksheets with the blackboards. Right. So how does it work? How do you get kids well, interested Tivots in math? Tivots is a board game mm -hmm. and an online game and soon to be a tablet and a cell phone game. Okay. Very easy to learn, like checkers but challenging to master like a chess. Okay. Uh, we use different venues for the kids to attract them and motivate them to want to learn math. And we use tournaments, competitions, because kids love to compete. As a matter of fact, we just finished a big tournament at Bush Gardens, and it was sponsored by McDonald's, the Casper's company. And we did it based on something called Tivots Tuesdays, where McDonald's hosts on Tuesday afternoons the kids playing Tivots. They have to go there to qualify for this big tournament that we held. And we had the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders attending. Was so I would guess as the game was being developed, you got input from a lot of kids, maybe about what they liked about the game or what they didn't like. In order to make a game work with kids, yeah. we had to go through an extensive test market. Sure. And we did that around the country in multiple cities with Major League Baseball teams and with museums and with aquariums so that kids could tell us what they liked about the game and particularly the tournament structure. Well, we can definitely see that they like it. It looks like they're having a good time. But what, what gave you the idea or what was important to you to, to come up with this game? To help kids learn to speak the language of math. My background is actually in high tech, satellites, launch vehicles, and what I see is that not enough children speak the language of math. They don't go into math-based careers, and it's also difficult to, in this information age, do a typical job and manage the books at a car dealership. And there's a real focus on uh, all of us, you know, improving, especially the students, improving our math skills. Bob, uh, pretty cool that McDonald's is involved in this, and somehow I see Tibbetts tournaments happening at McDonald's in the very near future. Why did you guys choose to get involved? It was a simple, easy match when um, Steve first came to me to ask for our support at the local school. It was two blocks from my office. So I decided to go by and take a look at uh, the student engagement, and it was amazing. There were car loads, bus loads, parents, teachers, and hundreds of kids engaged in this game. So it was a natural fit for us to help to support it. When he wanted to expand the exposure and get kids challenged, with kids from other schools, he suggested Tivots Tuesdays at McDonald's, and we opened the doors immediately. It's in the afternoon at a slower time of day. We simply dedicated some tables for them to come in and compete with their parents and the teachers they came in. And we own 40 McDonald's restaurants in Hillsborough County, and there's 15 others owned by other owner-operators. So we knocked on their door, and they said, oh, my goodness, of course. So every McDonald's in Hillsborough County is participating in uh, Tivitz Tuesday. So do you sign up you, So you sign up through the schools, and then the schools take all the kids out? Or how, what are the logistics here? Actually, it's an <coughs> online sign-up. It is, OK. Every restaurant is listed online. And the objective is don't sign up at the McDonald's that's necessarily closest to your school. Maybe compete at this McDonald's yeah. or this other McDonald's. Okay. So you could meet some mathematic brainiacs and challenge them to a game of Tivots and increase your skills. And Janet, you know, getting kids engaged in math, uh, just, just to get them engaged, let alone what else they do, is a home run. I, when I was in school, man, I, I, I just always prayed that the algebra teacher didn't call on me to solve the equation. Um, talk to us about uh, Tivots in the classroom and, and how it actually does specifically improve what kind of math skills? Well, Tivots is in our elementary and in our middle schools. So the mathematics skills involved go all the way from the elementary level up through pre-algebra. 
and students are engaged in um, number sense, making sense of the operations, and also having a fluency with mathematics, and all of those things will make them more proficient in their algebra classes. And uh, the students really um, love the competition, and they get a chance to apply their cri critical thinking skills, their reasoning, their math skills, and they really look forward to doing the math. So. It's, it's a win for the kids. That's interesting, Janet, that you said so it's in elementary schools and middle schools, so it has a range of ages and, and levels of learning that the kids can benefit from. Absolutely. There are different, uh, different game boards inside the Tibbetts games, and, and the teachers can set it up for the appropriate level for the students, and it's just, uh, it really has that nice span. So. And uh, Bob, if, if Tibbetts is not at your favorite local McDonald's, hopefully it will be coming to your McDonald's if uh, the, your, your favorite McDonald's is not hosting Tibbetts Tuesday. We've been asked by other operators in the surrounding counties because my email blasts go out and uh, some of the operators in Hillsborough also have stores in Pinellas and they want to get involved and uh, hopefully it's coming to a McDonald's in a county near you. And uh, right now this is being piloted in Hillsborough County, so we're hopeful that this will this will spread from here. And Roxanne, we've got some award winners here in the studio today. Yeah. Check them out, everybody. To meet them earlier. Tibbetts champions, Smart. everyone. Who we got there? We've got uh, Braden, Mac, and uh, Kishav. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Well, congratulations, guys. You they guys are... like Tibbetts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of those trophies. <laughs> Pretty impressive, and uh, we've got the information for you uh, right there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh,